At Ontario's short-staffed medical labs, tasked with processing a backlog of millions of diagnostic tests, the pressures of the pandemic have pushed some technologists to a critical breaking point. It's the first time in serving our members that we're starting to get feedback around um, people contemplating taking their own life because they can't keep up with testing demands. A new report from the association representing them has found 68% of lab professionals are working grueling schedules that include double shifts and no days off. Almost 90% are experiencing burnout. Now, more than 70% actively desire to leave the profession. One thing we forget is that everything that happens in healthcare meaning the ramping up of surgeries, have to go through the lab. There is lab testing done to ensure, A, you can't get surgery, you can or you can't. There is lab testing done to see how you're doing during surgery. There is lab testing done to see after you're done surgery. So I think if we are not very careful right now and the government doesn't pay attention to this problem, the intent to ramp surgeries up will actually stop because we won't have people in those labs to get that testing done. I just thought, you know what, I'm done. I'm burnt out. I'd had to reschedule a surgery uh, based on not being able to get time off. Helen Lemieux worked in labs in Mississauga hospitals for over 30 years before retiring early in 2019. That was before COVID hit, and even then, she says, labs were struggling. Things have only gotten worse for her former colleagues. 21 days in a row, a couple days off, 14 days in a row, a couple days off, you know, seven night shifts in a row. It's crazy. And they're, they're tired, they're exhausted, they're ready to quit. One of my colleagues called me last week saying, is there a job opening where you are because I really need to get out of here. The association has sent a letter to Premier Doug Ford requesting a meeting and is waiting to hear back. They hope for the chance to negotiate a retention bonus in line with the $5,000 retention bonus Ford recently agreed to for all frontline nurses. You know that medical laboratory professionals cannot walk off the job. If they did, people would die, the letter reads. We save lives for a living, and one of my very good doctor friends used to say to me, you know, you know the answer long before I do. It's just really, really disheartening and discouraging and demoralizing to not be recognized over and over and over again. Karen Seolin, City News.